This is a short presentation showing how to prepare a geoid for Surface E with Carlson Export. Carlson Export is a, a free tool running on the PC. It comes with every uh, Surface E license. So if you order Surface E, you get a serial number for export as well. And you can uh, register export for free. Now one of the tools of export that we will look into today is the Geoid Manager over here. Now what can I do with the, with the Geoid Manager? Um, assume that I have to do some, uh, some GPS work in an area where I have no Geoid available. So you work in a country where there is no uh, uh, Geoid available in, uh, in Surface E. And what you can do is use one of the worldwide geoid models. Now the latest one is EGM08. So this is a geoid covering uh, the whole world. And what you can do is you just select an uh, approximate latitude and longitude for the area that you are working in. Could be somewhere in Europe or in Africa or Asia or, or whatever. And then you can uh, create a uh, specific uh, geoid uh, for this area. Um, what you could also do is, uh, let's say that you do have a geoid available for your country, for instance uh, for Poland. Um, the geoid for Poland, however, is, uh, is fairly large uh, and it can be uh, a problem on some data collectors to load such a, such a large file. So also in this case it could be useful just to select a relatively small area which is the, the area you are going to do your, uh, your survey in. Now let's take for example, uh, we are in Poland, um, let's take for example uh, uh, Poznan, that we are uh, in the Poznan uh, area. So what we can do is we can uh, uh, look at, at Google Earth and we can note right here the approximate coordinates that we have for uh, for Poznan. Then let's go to uh, let's go back to to export again. Uh, we enter this approximate uh, latitude and longitude for Poznan right over here. Of course, this should be north and east. I think by default. It shows west, but of course we have to use uh, north and east. And then the geoid size. Um, even if you're working on a, on a relatively small area, it, it doesn't make any sense to, uh, to choose a very small uh, geoid size. Uh, it's always good to use at least uh, 50 or, or 100 kilometers. In this case, let, let's make it uh, 200 kilometers. Um, what is also important to note is that this tool, this specific geoid manager tool, um, takes the, the geoid from the internet. Otherwise you would have to install all these large geoid files on your on your PC, so you have to be online uh, to do this. Okay, so I select OK and I select a name which is Poznan and I store that and we're done. Um, and what you can do now is to transfer this file to your data collector. So we will just uh, see how this works. Let's assume that, uh, that this is our, uh, our data collector. We go to equipment and then uh, localization. Then we go to the GPS tab and we go to GWIRT file and in the my documents I have my uh, my Poznan geoid. There we are. So now the advantage is that I have a, a smaller file which is easier to handle and which is specific for the area uh, that I'm working in. That's the end of this presentation. Thank you.